when skill becomes an art form. When every ball counts. When the unthinkable becomes reality. When the best in the business lead by example. <laughs> when emotion and passion are just part of the game. This was the main round. There's a new sheriff in town and his name is Emmanuel Mayonard. The French coach led his well-oiled machine Mets to first place in Group 1. The reigning French champions played an almost perfect main round with five wins from six games. A perfect mix of young and experienced players, fast modern handball and tactical perfection put Mets up there with the top handball clubs this campaign. In his first season in Russia, Martin Ambros, even without his best player Anna Vyakireva, managed to lead Rostov to second place in the group. The last year Final Four participants, led by some new faces and an experienced coach, will be looking to upset their rivals in the quarter-finals. How far Rostov can go without Vyakireva remains to be seen. Always dangerous, always fighting, the Lionesses from Montenegro under Dragan Atsic are once again in the quarters. The very strong home side slipped up towards the end of the main round, mostly due to injury problems, but third place in the group guarantees a place in the next stage. Last but not least, the orange power from Denmark or Denze HC. The Danish club played an astonishing main round and with a decisive win against national rivals, Copenhagen made history for their club. A rookie season and already into the quarters. The Danish champions Copenhagen lost that game against Odense and finished their season in the main round. While it was end of the road as well for the star-studded Brest Britannia handball. New coach, some new players, but the same success for Gyuri. The reigning champions cruised through the main round undefeated and are favourites for the trophy this season. Even with injury problems, new signings and a new handball style, Gyori never lost sight of first place and with 18 points are going to the quarters as favourites against Odense. Second place is reserved for the biggest surprise of this year's competition. The Norwegian Vipers, led by the amazing Katrine Lunde in goal, showcased Scandinavian handball at its finest. Powerful, strong and fast. With veterans Lunde in goal and Suland at right back, Vipers could be on their way to the final four in Budapest. The always dangerous FTC Rail Cargo Hungaria finished third in the group and were the only team to take some points away from Gyuri. With some out-of-this-world performances from Kovacic and Pena and some young hopes for Kloiber and Hafra, the Hungarians will be a tough opponent for Rostov. Can this be the year FTC reaches the Final Four? Plagued by injuries, new coaches and a lack of consistency, Bucharesti must settle for fourth in Group 2. The team filled with top handball players was unfortunate with Niago and Kurtovic out until the end of the season and an up-and-down main round. It'll be a real challenge for the Romanians in the quarters. The final four is a must on paper, but can they deliver out on the court? In 5th and 6th place are the Slovenian and German champions who fell short in a tight group and with 5 and 2 points respectively finished their adventure in this season's Women's EHF Champions League. However, Herbert Müller impressed us with his passionate coaching style. If the main round was anything to go by, then we're in for one hell of a ride in the quarterfinals.